Okay, so in our last video, we started or we finished up by uh, correcting a spot here and addressing this neon light, getting it sharper and brighter. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do the finishing touches. You can see we have on the right here, we've still got a couple layers here. So we need to get this down to, to one layer or uh, one flattened image, if you will. So we're going to go to the top and go to select and click all. Probably missed that, but we went to select and then we clicked all, which selects both of our layers for us. And then we're going to go over here to the left to layer, and at the bottom we're going to click on flatten image. And that you can see on the right, when now we don't have two layers, instead we've just got one image, which is exactly what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to position this kind of like this here. And we're going to go up to the top again and we're going to select image again and go to adjustments and we're going to click on shadows and highlights which is down here. And by default this is at zero for highlights, 35% for shadows and you can see it's pretty bright up here. Um, so I'm going to take that to zero for now. Here's the preview button uh, that lets you toggle back and forth to see what your adjustments are doing. So I'm going to bump the highlights up a little bit. Uh, I want to kind of cut down on the brightness, if you will, of the highlights. Um, so we just kind of move this around and, and look at the picture. In particular, I'm looking at the neon lights, like over here, for example. So watch as I toggle this back and forth. You can see the effect that the highlights are reducing the highlights is having here. And that's what we want. Um, the shadows, we'll pull this up a little bit and see what we get. And you can see just above uh, this box here, um, this dark spot I'm looking at, we'll turn the preview right here. So we'll turn the preview on and off and see the effect that this highlight, that the shadows are having, excuse me. And I don't really like it. This is a bar scene and it's supposed to be dark. Um, so I'm actually going to take this back to zero here and then preview that and that looks pretty good. So in this case we're just going to adjust the highlights, click OK. And that looks pretty good. Take a look around here at the image. And I like what I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I like the effect that reducing the highlights had. So for the next step, we're going to go back to image and adjustments. And we're going to click on curves, which I just passed. We'll go back up to the top here, up here. There's curves. And we're going to do a very, very slight S curve. And we start by adjusting the top here. Um, we move, bump it up a little bit, this top corner, and you can see the effect that had it brightened it up a little bit, but we're going to counter that by bringing this down here, and you can see a very slight S there, and that's why we call this an S curve, and that just punched the colors up, and I really like the effect that that had. Um, it tends to work pretty well um, for most images, so I'm going to click OK there. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and sharpen our image, and we're going to do that by going to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask at the bottom. And we're going to zoom in. We look for a flat edge. I've got one here on this picture frame, and I'm going to zoom in to about four to six hundred percent. And we look at this edge, and this edge kind of for me defines how I'm going to sharpen this. And in this case, um, it's set at sixty and one for the radius or the pixel uh, radius. I'll move this around and kind of watch our preview and the, the box here at 600%. That's one there. And that actually looks pretty good. We'll go up to two. And to be honest, I think we had it right at one. So I'm going to leave that at one. And we'll, this is the number you'll adjust most typically, um, this 60%. 60% is about the highest for me. So I'm going to bump this down to 55 and take a look at the preview. And I'm looking at the image, in particular this gentleman's face right over here on this poster. And I'll bring this back to 60%. And we'll click on the preview. Again, watching this gentleman's face as I click on the preview button. And that looks pretty good. I like how that's defining that. Um, so I think 60% is about right. I'm going to click OK here. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap this up. This is... Um, about the the right size so you can see we st still have the the outside selected uh, so we're just going to deselect that and we can deselect this by going up here to select and deselect so we have our image now it's ready to go we're going to save it notice I'm not saving for the web because that would compress it so I'm going to click save as and I'm going to save this as a TIFF which is a lossless format again so there's TIFF, and we're going to go ahead and put this in a new folder. So 
Um, there's our number one folder, and we're going to create yet another folder, and this one's going to be called PS, uh, you know, obviously for Photoshop. So we'll create that. And then at this point, I am going to go ahead and name uh, the image finally. And um, so we'll just call this uh, TK Shoot 1. Uh, make this as simple as possible. And we'll click the save. And we can see no compression, which is exactly what we want. And so that's about it for this one. We're going to go ahead and um, in the next video, we'll, we'll talk about compression and, compression and why I don't use Photoshop. Um, so we'll go back to our Photoshop folder. Here's the image we just saved. We'll preview this. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, we can see the issues we addressed. The highlights is looking pretty sharp. So we're in good shape here. And uh, in the next video, again, we'll talk about compression.